I didn't think I was a train person, but <laughs> when I see these steam trains, I'm a train person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this place is like a movie set. What a beautiful way to end a walk. Good, Good morning. morning and welcome. We are back in the beautiful North York Moors. Yeah, and today we are showing you a day trip that you absolutely cannot miss if you find yourself in this gorgeous part of the UK. We are starting off today's walk in the village of Bromont and the plan for today is to do a lovely waterfall walk. Hopefully we're going to see three waterfalls. We're not sure how big these waterfalls are, but <laughs> fingers crossed they're going to be worth got the high walk. Hopes. Yeah, we've got high hopes for them. And the walk is just going to take us through the North York Moors, so I'm sure it's going to be really lovely and scenic. But yeah, we're just going to wander through this lovely little village first. This place is like a movie set. It's so quaint and beautiful. It like. almost doesn't feel real. You know if you look at like a model railway, like yeah. a little model railway set, a little model village, it's giving me those kind of vibes. For it's sure. almost like it's too good to be true. So on this walk, I've also got our friends Lisa and Luke, and they've just found this really cool little spot. So we haven't quite found our first waterfall yet, but we have found a ford. This place is pretty cool, and there's a sign over there that says it can get up to six feet deep. It just blows my mind, because that means it will be over my head. You're not fancy walking over it? Um, it's a bit deep. So we've come to the start of the walk now. we found the public footpath sign. Yep. Time to let the walk begin. We're going off the main route now, and down here, so wish us luck. Let's hope we find our way. We haven't even told you about this walk properly yet. So it starts in Gromont and then it's a circular walk that's going to take us through Beckhall and Gothen and then we'll loop back round to Gromont again. The first half of the walk is going to take us through like Woodland area, I believe. And then I think we'll end up on the North York Mall. And like we said, we're going to see some waterfalls along the way. So hopefully Elliot might even have a dip. He's got his swim shots with him. I'm very tempted. <laughs> I've not been for a swim in cold water for a while now. Last time I did it was Caton Bay, our local beach. And today it could be the first time for a while. What do you reckon? Are you doing it? Are you coming? Well, somewhere with me so unfortunately I'm gonna to have to duck out of this one which just saddens me. I think that was tactical. <laughs> How beautiful is this place? Oh it's absolutely incredible we're just walking through the most beautiful wood and the sunlight is just streaming through the tops of the trees and it smells amazing you know so that fresh. forest smell oh, yes. you know mm, a little dose of nature is exactly what we needed today. When we wake hear the birds and see the sun I've just stepped in poo. Ah, oh, had to be me. Yeah. You can't believe you told me though. It was. I said, watch out for the poo. I said, watch out for the poo. It's right there. And then Elliot walks up, puts his foot on it, and says, "Where's the poo?" And he stood on it. Only Elliot. Okay, you learn this. <laughs> <laughs> Does hey. this one count as a waterfall? Because I'm going to count this as waterfall number one. Okay, <laughs> it's small but beautiful. I'm glad I got walking boots on. Oh. We've reached our first muddy obstacle. <laughs> <laughs> so if you come on this walk, make sure you pick the right footwear because I was going to pick Vivos today, which are quite slim shoes and that would have been a big mistake. What are you looking for? <laughs> I'm just dancing to the sound of the steam train. I think that's a really unique thing about the countryside this way is um, that you get the steam train coming through it because there's not many places where you can see like a genuine steam locomotive. There you go. Going through the countryside. Oh, can I can see it. it. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. I think we might be able to see it in the little valley there. How are you feeling? <laughs> we took a bit of a wrong turn there because we thought we were going to go see Thomas and Foss on the way to Gothland but I think we must go to it on the way back because that place was a death trap. <laughs> that was not the right route. What a lovely spot. <sighs> the steep climb to get us back on route called for a quick break. So this bench shaded by the tree was a very welcome sight. We decided this would be a good place for a snack and a drink and it's safe to say Shadi was very excited to get back on our way. You ready? We're moving. We're moving. We're moving. Don't we're moving. So we finally made it to Gothland 
and it's quite possibly the definition of a picture perfect English village. Oh absolutely, it is so stunningly beautiful. So we are talking chocolate box cottages, really cute little village shops that sell all kinds of knickknacks and free roaming sheep causing traffic jams. <laughs> I mean when you think of the most perfect English village in your mind, doesn't it have all of those things? It's a bit like taking a step back in time actually. It really is and it's so peaceful as well. Yeah so it's a beautiful place to come. Gonna, um, we're just gonna head to the tea room now and then we're gonna take you to a couple of places that you might recognize. So we're gonna go to Gotham train station and I won't say any more than that. And what else was filmed here Elliot? Uh, Harry Potter. <laughs> no, no, Heartbeat. <laughs> oh, I didn't watch Heartbeat. I don't know about Heartbeat. I see everything with Aidan's Field written on now yeah. and I get really excited. Leave a little comment if you remember Heartbeat being on your telly every Sunday. How are you feeling now that we've got to sit down for a rest? So good. Yeah. <laughs> this is exactly what I needed. Yeah, there's Ginger some refreshing. Beer. How was this gone? Really good. Yeah, it didn't last long. It did not last long. You made light work of that. <laughs> this is such a lovely place to come and have. Yeah, the garden's beautiful. Really nice here. Such a lovely setting. That was such a lovely stop. Yeah. I recommend doing that for sure. Yeah, it's, those tea um, rooms were lovely. And that scone that we had, it was a little bit warmed up and it just tasted absolutely gorgeous. It was the nicest scone I've had in yeah, such a long time. Yeah, butter and jam and oh, Yeah, and dreamy. a really nice refreshing cold drink, which was needed. We're about to go to Gotham Station and you might recognise it from a certain film, a very famous one. What was the name of that film, Elle? Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> so the train station we're going to is Gotham train station, obviously, because that's where we are. But the station that it is in Harry Potter is Hogsmeade station. So yeah. I think you see, you see like the big dude Hagrid on the station <laughs> waving Harry off. I don't think we're going to see Hagrid <laughs> today, but we can definitely see the train station. Yeah. And I think we've timed it just right that we might see a steam train. Because that's the other cool thing about Gothland actually, is that it's one of the places that you can catch a steam train from. <laughs> What are your thoughts on Gothland so far? I love it. I mean, last time we came, it was a midweek, super quiet, and it was overcast and cold. This time it's total opposite. It's yeah, we're bank, here holiday, on a bank Sunday, holiday Sunday. It's super hot. It's beautiful, but it's really busy. So if you can avoid a bank holiday, I would. But it's still amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Totally. I love it. So where to next? We're going to get on our way and go and see the first waterfall, which I think is Malian Spout. And then the next one is Thomason Foss. Thomason Foss, but we could get to Beck Hall first before that. Yeah. Oh, it's tight. It's tight. <laughs> See then. <laughs> Look at that view. Stunning. Wow. Just incredible. So, we're just on our way to Malian Spout now. But first, we've got to get there. I think we're pretty close now. Yeah, I don't think we've got too far to go. Just down the cobbled steps, we'll be there. How nice was Malian Spout? Oh, it was amazing. Beautiful. I think Malian Spout is like one of the highest drops around here, but I'm not too sure of the exact meter. Yeah, we'll put it on the screen. Find out and put it on the screen <laughs> for you. But yeah, that was absolutely amazing. But if guys, if you really want to go there, please wear sensible footwear because it's quite tricky. Yeah, and there, it's pretty isn't slippy it? as well. Yeah, so um, yeah. Make sure you get your walking boots on, guys. <laughs> This walk just takes you from one beautiful village to another. They're just absolutely yeah, you're just surrounded by perfect. views. Perfect. Every time you go through a gate, you know the countryside gate that you have to open with the latch. Every time you go through one of those, you're either greeted with a great big open field or another beautiful village. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just, just surrounded by green. Um, so we're just passing through this village, Beck Hall, because we need to get to the second waterfall, which is Thomas and Foss. How are we feeling? How's morale? Feeling good. Although morale's still high. It's high, but I'm a little bit disappointed. Why is that? Because I really wanted to go for a swim. Yeah. There's just too many people there. Yeah. And we did pick like one of the busier days to do it. It so. is bank holiday, so yeah. I suppose it's to be expected. So but... me and Luke are a bit gutted, but never mind. No cold water swim today. I mean, we can't complain. It's too uh, beautiful to complain. Just on the homewood straight now. But what we're thinking is find a pub on the way back. Yeah. Get a shandy. Oh, absolutely. Maybe a packet of crisps. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like perfection. What a beautiful way to end a walk. I wasn't expecting this view at the end of that path. Currently looking over Gromont Station. And we are heading down there because apparently there's a pub right next to the station. 
with a shandy with my name on. <laughs> I'm very excited for that. So we finally made it back to Gromont. Yeah. Uh, we've got a steam train waiting for us. No, I'm joking. I can't believe, like, I know I said it when we left how this just looks like a model village, but now that we're back here again, it really does look like a yeah. model village. Like, it's almost not real. But yeah, just so, so happy to be back here now so we can put our feet up and have a little rest. Uh, and go get a refreshing a drink. Yeah. So, um, looks like something's happening. <laughs> It's pretty incredible. We know that we told you that if you want to go and see the steam trains, go to Gothland. I take it back. Come to Gromont. Yeah, Gromont's where it's yeah. at. <laughs> you get such a good view here. Beautiful. Um, and it's less crowded too. Honestly, you have to come and see the steam trains here. Yeah, for sure. Such a good experience. Really enjoyed it. Love that. Should we go get a drink? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm ready for a drink. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Yeah. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. To a good day. Yeah. <laughs>